All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the new Heat channel. As we told you, we were gonna take about two weeks to get some stuff figured out. As you can see, I got a plant. Nice. Honestly, I'm excited to be back in front of the camera giving these gems to you guys. Also, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications, because every week we're gonna be posting new content for selling beats online and how to build a music producer business. Uh, we got that mother <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be covering the topic quantity versus quality. Because what's the most popular answer given to the question, how to sell beats online? Hey Siri, how do I sell beats online? Be consistent. Upload a beat to YouTube every single day for 4,630 days straight and maybe, just maybe, you'll get lucky. Keep uploading beats like over and over again. That's what I did. I mean, literally I just uploaded beat every day. I made 66 thousand five hundred forty five dollars off of beats i was posting five beats a week i think i was dropping two videos a day sometimes one sometimes two in december i made fifteen thousand then guess what twenty thousand in january alone honestly i've gotten to a point of where i could not hear that advice anymore but i do believe there's truth in what these guys are saying and they are absolutely right i just think that we need to have a little bit more context of what they are really saying in this week's video our goal is to show you the real meaning and purpose of being consistent as a producer now most producers who are successful with selling beats online they end up driving most of their traffic through tight beats on youtube just looking at these numbers from tight beat producers in the past 30 days and chamberlain has gotten around 840,000 views Othello Beats has gotten 700,000 views and Ruje has gotten over 4 million views in the past 30 days. Let's say that you get 800,000 views a month and 2% of that turns into actual website traffic. And then 1% of that website traffic will convert into customers. Now, assuming all these 160 monthly customers spend around $40, that would give you at least $6,400 in monthly revenue. And some producers have even better numbers with getting some amazing results just from all their YouTube traffic. So just a couple months after you quit your job, you, you showed your BeatStar stats live, I think on a YouTube uh, stream, and you had generated nearly 40,000 in a 30 day period. Yeah. So if these top earning producers are just uploading daily beats on YouTube, why isn't everyone else just as successful? First things first, everything has to start somewhere. Just like you, even these now bigger producers started off with a smaller audience and little to no views, and you're no different than they are. Logically, they thank their success to their own efforts of just being consistent. But there is more to it than they probably realize or care to mention, and we'll get to that in a second. Sooner or later though, this question is gonna hit you. Should you focus on quantity, or quality. And there's always a different response to this question with great support on each side. So then which one is it? Now, before we discuss this, I want to say there is no right or wrong answer to this question. And this topic of conversation goes way beyond YouTube type beats. So go ahead and feel free to leave a comment of what your answer is on the question, but make sure you watch the rest of the video first, as we're going to address a lot of things to do with this question. As a producer, you may work a full-time job, you may go to school for eight hours a day, and you probably do everything else in between. Oh, and uh, don't forget, you need to be social on the weekends too and hang out with your friends, make some time for them as well. So if that's not enough for you, trying to upload a beat a day doesn't make this situation any easier. But you should remember that everybody does have the same 24 hours in their day. I had to be at work at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I worked at 6 p.m. Bro, that's 14 hours when I get off work. At six, I'm making beats till like 12, waking up at four, just because I wanted to learn. That's why I don't, I, every producer with an excuse, I don't give it to him. Now, I'm not here to question anyone's passion or say that if you don't make music every single second that you're not gonna be successful. But it's important to understand that your passion and your drive is a crucial motivator in this aspect. The truth of the fact is, you are gonna have to sacrifice your time if you wanna make music in your free time. And it's up to you to find this balance within your own life. You shouldn't be ruining your mental health to keep a daily upload streak. And if you're not able to make music daily, trust me, you are not alone in this process. If you can only do two beats a week, that's fine. Just be consistent with it. Over a whole year, two beats a week is going to give you 104 beats at the end of that year. 
So with quality, the first thing I want to dispel is that if you make more quantity, you're going to lose quality. And you also need to learn, you just can't rush into perfection. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at Russ's first beat 11 years ago on YouTube. Nowadays, Russ is more so considered a rapper than producer, but he still does most of the production on his albums. And what you may not know is Russ did a song every week for two years before getting to his success. You gotta think about it. I've put out a song a week for like two years because I had to, because I had to blow up. This is the development process that every creative person goes through. It's not just Russ. Tory Lanez made dozens of mixtapes before his breakthrough. g Easy refers to this as his practice years that were documented online. I always say with hip hop is like, your practice years yeah. are documented now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but we as producers have this advantage of where we document our practice years in the form of uploading weekly beats to YouTube. And we even have this ability to instantly monetize our practice years by selling them. This is a long-term game of being consistent. Sticking to a daily routine or at least a consistent work schedule means a lot more than just uploading beats to YouTube every week. Every new beat that you start is a chance to learn and improve your skills along with your production quality. How do you get to the level of having high quality? You do that through quantity, right? Quantity is like practice. Through making 100 beats, that's how you get better to make that one beat, the big one. I saw this post about producer workflow on Reddit and this top comment said it perfectly you need to abandon perfectionism. As creatives, being a perfectionist is a common trait among us. We want to release only our best work to an audience and we won't settle for less. But at what point does this work start to become counterintuitive? To get another perspective on this, I want to look at a quick study done at the University of Florida for a photography class. A professor split the class into two parts. The left side was the quantity group, and they would be judged solely on the amount of photos that they took. The right side would then be the quality group, and they would be judged solely on the excellence of one single photo. And here's how that study panned out. At the end of the term, he, the professor conducting the study, was surprised to find out that the best photos were produced by the quantity group. In the process of creating hundreds of photos, the quantity group honed their skills. Meanwhile, the quality group sat around speculating about perfection. And it's important to note as well, quantity just doesn't mean opening up FL Studio and dragging in random keys and drum patterns. Don't get so lost in the process you forget the intent of actually learning to get better. And in the midst of all this learning, don't forget to have fun and enjoy yourself. Music is the time you have to be creative and to express yourself in your emotions. Don't forget about why you started creating music in the first place. Usually, if you lose that insight of why you first started, that's what's going to lead to your ending. Being consistent doesn't mean sacrificing the quality of your music or having less fun developing these skills, to the contrary. There is no special hack or secret scheme here. The key to this success doesn't mean just feeding the YouTube algorithm with all the daily tight beats you can. Will it help? Of course, this is the most common advice we are given from YouTube producers that we look up to. But it's the combination of that quantity that leads to quality. Quality that will then lead to your big break with selling beats online. It is the direct outcome and a result of a process. A process that includes both action and progress. And if what we've been told is true about being consistent and uploading beats daily, then we can consider that the secret formula to success as a producer. We just have to dive a little bit deeper into what that formula really means. This formula to success can be divided into two separate things, action and progress. Action means putting in the work, getting into a routine of making beats, uploading those beats, marketing, and then sharing them with the world, which for some people will mean abandoning perfectionism, and for others, that will mean better time management. Progress means getting better every time that you perform these actions. And if you're not making progress along the way, it's going to be impossible or at least extremely hard to get any results. It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome each time. In no industry has that ever worked out. Also, don't get tricked into thinking that this is some sort of race or competition because it isn't. 
you don't necessarily need the biggest YouTube channel to make sales. The quality of your music will always come first. But remember, through quantity is how you're going to build up the quality of your work. So what is the real meaning and purpose of being consistent? It means setting realistic goals and building a routine of putting equally enough time into making beats and then marketing those beats. It does not mean that you're on this invisible deadline and that if you miss a day of uploading, YouTube's gonna hurt your channel. What these guys are really saying about consistency is not the singular action of uploading a new beat every day. Even if they think this is all they did, they subconsciously applied the success formula of action plus progress equals results. One of our interns at Heat is probably the best example and one of the many reasons that inspired us to make this video. Before Merlino joined our team at Heat, he was a producer taking the literal advice of uploading one beat every day for a few months. Only to find out later that that didn't really work and he had lost all fun in the actual creative process of making music. When we advised him to be more conscious about his actions and making progress along the way, he five times the sales he was making. And he did that while doing less uploads. So now instead of daily uploads, he was focusing all of his time on building a more profitable and scalable beat selling business. If you want to learn more about what we taught him, check out the link below to our website. We have a bunch of free guides up there to help you sell more beats, as well as a one and a half hour masterclass you can sign up and watch for free. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also please leave a comment if you've tried to upload daily beats before and you saw some success or didn't see some success or what your experience and your journey was. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, we got that <laughs>